I'm going to demonstrate how to properly wash your hands. First, you're going to turn on the sink, make sure the water is running, and then you're going to apply water all over your hands, make sure that they're all wet, and then you're going to lather soap all over your fingers and your hands and up your wrists, making sure that your hands are below your elbow and your fingertips are pointing downward as well. And making sure that you take your fingernails and scrub them to the palm of your hand to make sure that no more dirt is underneath your hand. And then you take a paper towel to turn off the sink, making sure that you never put any of the water that's left on your hands into the sink, and you're going to wash off your hands with a paper towel, and then you're going to dispose of your paper towel properly in the waste bin. Today I'm going to teach you all how to draw blood. First, I would wash my hands and then put on my gloves as you can see I already did. And now I'm going to take my tourniquet and I'm going to put it around her arm so I can see her vein protrude. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the area where her vein is protruding at with an alcohol wipe. Once I'm done cleaning the area, this is the time where I actually prick her. And you're going to use this other test tube at the same time while you're pricking her so you can actually collect the blood. And once you're done with this one, if you're going to take another test tube, all you have to do is switch it out. Before you do that, you gotta take, you got to use the first one. And when that's full, so that would be one. And now I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to clean it again with a gauze to stop the blood. And then I would put a band-aid on it. Shannon Mixonette, and today we're going to learn how to do blood pressure. First off, normal blood pressure, according to the American Heart Association, is 120 over 70. Now that you know that, let's start. First, I would go wash my hands, and then come here, and then ask her if I can take her blood pressure, and she would say yes. probably yes. So first, I'm going to put the blood pressure cuff over her arm. And I'm going to put where it says artery right over her artery, which you'll be able to see. And I'm going to make sure it's tight enough, not too tight. I'm going to put on my stethoscope. I'm going to make sure that this is all the way to the right, so it's tight. And that the stethoscope is right over her artery, where it's pointing at. And then I'm going to start making a fist with this all the way to about 160 to 180. And I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna listen to her blood pressure. And then once I actually can hear it is when I'm gonna start. And you need to release it a little bit to the left so you can actually hear it. And she has good pressure. She has about 123 over 73, which is pretty good. And that is how you take blood pressure. Hello, I'm going to demonstrate how to do radio pulse today. First, you're going to ask your client if she can give you her hand. And you're going to take your two fingers, your middle finger and your pointer finger, and you're going to place it right here on her wrist on the thumb side and make sure that you don't press too hard or too soft enough where you can actually feel it. Once you feel it, you're going to count how many beats you feel within her wrist for 30 seconds and I have a timer to make sure that I'm doing this correctly. And I'm going to start.
I counted 36 pulses within my fingers, and really you're going to multiply it by 2 to figure out how many pulses she got in a minute, and 36 times 2 is 72. So that's how you do radio pulse.